Oh, I've got an update on the um, cupboard doors back here. Those are the new cupboard doors that I got up there at the Gamblers in um, Quartzsite. They are not a match. They're not oak like the rest of it. But they work just fine and I think you uh, can't tell the difference really. You can if you're right in here and you're really looking for it, but just looks fine. And the brass knobs I got uh, at Home Depot when we were in um, Phoenix. I haven't sorted out all of the junk in there, but I got that really heavy TV mount done. So I'm going to put a couple of shelves in there, and still sorting stuff out, but... They're working just fine. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. We're going to go on down to Yuma for a few days and after probably about a week there we're going to go over to Oregon Pipe National Monument and from there we'll go to Tucson and after a few days in Tucson we'll be flying back home to Mexico on the 1st of March. So. That's what's going on today. This is the Paradise Casino in Yuma. Actually, it's in, not in Yuma. It's in California on the Kichan Indian Reservation across the Colorado River from the city of Yuma. This is just a little pond. It's about a two-minute walk across the road from that dry, gravel, dusty parking lot. So it's a nice respite from the wind and the dust. I'm not going to uh, give you a big tour of Yuma in this video. I did go to the uh, Quartermaster Depot State Historical Park, but I'll make that another video. I'm just going to do random stuff we did around Yuma here for a few days. So that's what this one's going to be about. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> a bird picked a fish out of the water while he was flying away from me. Kind of a bird of the feather there with me. Uh, never pass up a free meal. In order to get to Yuma, you have to cross this one-way bridge. You wait for the green light and then you wait for all the cars that are coming the opposite way before you can go. And uh, that's how you get from where we are here into Yuma. And I showed you those stills because this is what my iPhone 6 was doing as I came across the bridge. Some kind of an anomaly in the motion sensor or something. That's enough of that, huh? Searching for lost treasures? Huh? <laughs> Did you find any? Sam and I went to the swap meet in Yuma and found out later that there's a difference between the swap meet and the flea market, and the flea market was better. I went there last year. This one was a lot of junk, which is fine. I like junk, but I was able to find a couple of Valentine's Day gifts for Lynn, and when I gave them to her, she said, it, obviously, it's better to give than to receive. We drove around the park that uh, Yuma has developed all along the Colorado River, and it's really neat. This is a small part of it where the playground and the fishing pond is. There's a guy fishing over there. Um, the uh, park extends clear down there by that bridge we were talking about uh, a little while ago. And it's like several miles. Plus there's a bicycle park that, or a bicycle path that goes like 15 miles or something. I came back at night to take a picture of this playground thing just because I thought it was so neat. We took a drive about 15 miles west of Yuma out to the Imperial Sand Dunes. And this place is amazing. Um, I've never been in a sand dunes this big. I just can't believe how much sand there is. I was out here about a month ago. Well, it's been longer than that. It was before Christmas with a guy from uh, Yuma Park that I was in. 
on a sand rail. This was a 200 horsepower Polaris thing that was made to do this with big paddle tires or something on the back. And I'd never done that before. It was like a roller coaster on steroids. Uh, I got to tell you, I, uh, uh, I was kind of frightened at one point. We came to a cliff and I said, uh, uh, are you really going to go down that? And he eased us over there and I couldn't see over the cliff was the problem. And he explained that sand drifts at 45 degrees. So unless you run into a hole where there's been a whirlwind or something, they call it a, a witch's eye, um, it's always a 45 degree slope off of those cliffs. So going down, you just kind of slide down. It's real easy. But going up, 200 horsepower, 50 miles an hour straight up, it's like riding a rocket. It's amazing. I am so angry with myself that I didn't get a video of that. I just forgot to take my camera along that day, and I've been kicking myself ever since. The Imperial Sand Dunes. This is the swimming pool at the K Chan Casino. There are three casinos in Yuma. The Paradise is the one we're at, and this one is the Q, they call it. It's the one that's close to Algodonas. That's that place where people go down to have dental work across the border into Mexico. Just thought it was a neat pool, so I took a picture for you. Ruby and Lynn are having one of theirs. It's five o'clock somewhere bonding sessions. Ruby and Sam and Lynn and I have been great traveling companions for a few days, uh, except for the dogs. Zoe and Bella haven't gotten along very well. So I just reviewed this video to see how it looked, and guess what? I wasn't in it. <laughs> so I had to put myself in it. Thanks for watching.